Well, if it wasn't difficult enough already to pr predict results in this topsy turvy Premier League, as last weekend obviously showed, we've now got the added conundrum of um, yes, European midweek games, which always uh, threatens to throw a spanner in the works. Anyway, first game doesn't uh, include uh, two teams in those European games. And that's West Ham against Brighton. Um, although, having said that. <sighs> Not an easy game to predict, I've got to say, you know, one or two um, very strange results. Both these clubs, you know, Brighton can't score, then they win handsomely. West Ham, you know, Paul starts with the three away games and they look into a little bit of form and then all of a sudden Andy Carroll throws, uh, throws a couple of, uh, of um, flaming arms, should we say, and, and that that puts them on the back foot. So, not an easy one to predict this one. I'm going to go for under 2.5 goals, um, which is a little bit short at 7 to 10. So, we'll double that up with West Ham to win and under 2.5 goals gives a bit of value at 13 to 5. Um, difficult one to get into this one. Not quite sure. You know, not really totally convinced by, by either side at this stage. I haven't really got a grasp on them either. Um, OK, moving on to uh, the three o'clocks. Man City against Burnley. Um, Man City got a lovely balance. Sané on the left, I think, is, is sort of like that. That has, has really completed um, the final piece of the jigsaw, as in the shape of the side, the balance of the side. I'm not sure Raheem Sterling out on the left um, was was the answer with him on the right. I think he's, he's, he's more natural with that right foot. He can come inside. Sane gives you that width, makes the pitch big, particularly at home, which is what they need. Um, it allows De Bruyne in that midfield area to just go and pick up the play with De Silva. Um, so it's a perfect balance. Still not totally convinced, I've got to say, defensively, and it will be interesting. As I said before, when they come up against the better sides, but they'll be expected to win this one. I think they've, they've scored no less than five, five goals in each of their three Premiership games. I'm going to go for Burnley to be a little bit of a tougher prospect in this one. Tougher pros proposition. Um, I'm going to go for plus three Burnley. That means that they get a three goal start. And that's at 21 to 20. If you want a four goal start, then you're four to nine. Um, I think four goal start should be enough. Um, that means if they get beat three nil with a three goal start, then you, you get your money back. Anything less than that, you win your bet. Obviously, if they get beat by four, you'll get your money back. And anything less than that, you'll win if it's plus four. So plus three, Burnley in this game at 21 to 20 would be my bet. But there's also plus four available at four to nine. Moving on to Chelsea against Watford. This, I think this really does show you, last, last week really does show you that you've got to look at the teams and, and who's fit and who's not and who's available and who isn't um, before you, you, know, you, you weigh in. Because obviously Chelsea without Kante and Murata, obviously a couple more injuries into the bargain as the game went on. Um, and obviously with Palace having Zahar back and, and one or two others, um, it did, really did tip the scales a little bit, you know. Whereas you're looking at it, has to be a Chelsea win last week. That wasn't the case when you actually looked at the, both, both the sides, you know, who was available and who wasn't. Um, Chelsea should have Morata back this week, which will make a huge difference to their side. Um, they're still a bit short in some areas. I think, you know, there's, having spent the amount of money they've spent, I know that he was still unhappy. In it. I mean, it's a lot of money. I think it's 140, 150 million. Still not enough for the Premiership League holders. Um, so not quite where they need to be at this stage and, and a little bit behind, I've got to say. I know that it's this stage last season, but difficult to see Man United and Man City slipping up um, like the teams above them did last year. So, I'm going to go for Chelsea to win this one. Um, a little bit like my bet last week. Chelsea to win this one. I know everyone's sort of open-eyed about Palace scoring last week, but I got that bit right. So, Chelsea to win and both teams to score, which I think is decent at 2-1. to one. Uh, Moving on again. Swansea versus Leicester and Southampton versus West Brom. Particularly difficult games to, to predict. I'm going to go for a draw double. So, a little bit of... It's just a little bit of fun, really. Um, and a bit of value. Draw double. So Swansea versus Leicester. Southampton versus West Brom. Both to be draws. Double that, them up. It's 10 to 1. Um, Everton against Arsenal. As I said, both these sides were in action in the Europa League uh, in midweek. Contrasting results. Everton obviously getting beat by Leon, um, And Arsenal getting a, a really good result away from home. Um, 
and scoring a fantastic goal into the bargain as well, which uh, is uh, is not unusual, is it, for, for Arsenal? A typical Arsenal goal, lovely little one interchange and, and short passing and a wonderful finish from Giroud. Um, Everton against Arsenal. OK, uh, I'm going to go for a goal in each half, which is three to four. And I'm going to go for a score draw in this one at seven to two. I think, as I said, Arsenal had a long trip in midweek. They've also now got to go to Everton. Um, Everton were at home. There's definite advantage with them being at home again. So no travelling for them, travelling for Arsenal. Score draw for me at seven to two. Goal in each half at three to four. Last but not least will be Tottenham against Liverpool. Um, I'm going to go for both teams to score in this game um, and over 2.5 goals, which is 23 to 20. So both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Liverpool let me down last week, although having said that, probably Jose Mourinho let me down by playing the way that he did, which I thought was, was pretty disappointing, all things considered. And those two points dropped. You know, if they'd gone for it, might be a difference between winning and losing the league this year. But anyway, plenty of time to play that. But Tottenham against Liverpool, really good game in prospect. Both teams score over 2.5 goals. 23 to 20, so odds against. My treble this week will be Luton. We had a wonderful result last week. I think they'll be good enough to win away from home. Shrewsbury at home, we were absolutely flying.